Back to my channel, today we will continue with chapter 13 and uh, for this video, we will discuss on 13.2 Kinetic Theory of Gas Okay, in uh, subtopic 13.1, we already discussed the microscopic properties of the ideal gas including the pressure, volume, number of moles, temperature So in this subtopic, we consider the ideal gas model from the microscopic point of view So the microscopic behavior can be only be described by the kinetic theory of the gases Okay, so these are the kinetic theory of the gases models assumption Okay, so the first one is all gases are made up identical atoms or molecules, meaning that they are same, and they move in the randomly and haphazardly, okay, meaning that they will move randomly uh, in all directions. And the volume of the atoms of the molecule is we can negligible when compared with the volume occupied by the gas. And the intermolecular frost, we also negligible except during collision. Okay, so intermolecular frost also we neglect. Okay, interatomic or molecular collision are elastic meaning that after the collision it will move away they will not stick together the durations of the collision is negligible because it's very short and atoms of molecule move with the constant velocity between the collisions gravity has no effect on the molecular motion okay so these are the assumptions that we need to know okay next we will go to vrms okay root mean square speed or we can call it vrms so so the Quantity V square is the mean square speed of all atoms in the gas. Okay, it means that we find the square of the speed and then we find the average. Huh? So as we know that the uh, molecule or the gases will move randomly huh, with different directions and also with different speed. Okay, so we need to use uh, VRMS to calculate the speed of the uh, the gas, the molecule of the gas. Okay, so the equations is equal to VRMS. Okay, equal to square root. V square. Okay, so meaning that we must square first after we find the average, after that only we square it. So by com comparing the ideal gas equations, okay, our VRMS we have three equations. The first one is equal to square root 3 kT over M. M is the mass. Or we can write VRMS equals to 3 RT over molar mass. Okay, so this is actually molar mass. Okay, or if let's say you have the pressure and the density, we also can write VMS equals to square root 3P pressure over density. Okay, so let us uh, continue with exercise 2. Okay, exercise 2, question number 1. 8 gas molecules chosen at randomly are found in the speed of 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5 meter per second. So determine the mean speed, huh? meaning that we want to find the average. Huh? So we our V average okay, is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus, 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 5. And then we divide it by 8. Okay. So if we press calculator, we will get V average. Okay, we can write in this symbol equals to 2.5 meter per second. Next one, the mean square speed, meaning that we must square first, then only find the average. Okay, so our V mean square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square plus, two square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square. Okay, meaning that we, we square it up first, then only we find the average. Okay, so we divide it by 8. So therefore, the mean square speed is equal to 8 meter square per second square okay so this is the value for the mean square speed okay then usually we will find the root mean square okay where we find the square first then only we find the average and after that only we square root okay so we can use vrms meaning that we find the square first then we find the average then only we find the uh, root mean square so is square root it, therefore, VRMS we will get 2.83 meter per second. Okay, so the mean square here actually we take from B. Okay, next we go to question number two. A cylinder of the volume 0.08 meter cube contains oxygen gas of the temperature 280 Kelvin and the pressure is 90 kilopascal. Okay, so the first one asks us to determine the mass of the oxygen in the cylinder. 
Okay, so we know that uh, this is an idea guess. So PV equals to and RT we can use. And uh, the number of mole also equals to mass per molar mass. Okay, so we need to find how many mole first, then only we can find the mass of the oxygen. Okay, so P is 90 kilo, so times 10 to the power of 3. Volume is 0 0.08. Okay, number of mole is the value we want to find. R is 8.31 and the temperature is 280 Kelvin. Okay, so the number of mole that we will get here is equals to Okay, so we will get 3.09 mole. Okay, so next we substitute into the equation 3.09 mole equals to mass per molar mass. We have molar mass here we have 32 gram. Huh? Okay, so 32 gram we convert into kg. Okay, become kg per mole. Okay, so here we have mole. More and more we can cancel. Finally, uh, the mass of the oxygen in the cylinder we will get 0 0.099 kg or you can write it as 9.9 .9 times 10 to the power of 2 kg. Okay, next we will go to 2B. We okay, find the number of oxygen molecule in the cylinder. Okay, so since we have the number of mole and uh, we know that the number of mole is equal to mass per molar mass or the number of molecule per number of avogadro. Okay, so we can use these equations to find the number of oxygen where the number of mole just now is 0, uh, 3.09 and the number of molecule is the value we want to find and number of avogadro is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Okay, so the number of oxygen is equal to 1.86 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules. Okay, next we need to determine the road mean square speed of the oxygen molecule. Okay, so we can use VRMS okay, equals to 3RT over M to find uh, since we have the temperature and also the molar mass. Okay, so we substitute 3 times 8.31 and the temperature given is 280 Kelvin and the molar mass is uh, 32 gram. Uh, so we must convert it into kg okay, per mole. Okay, so the final answer that we will get for the VRMS is equal to 467 meter per second. Okay, so we will proceed to question number three. The RMS speed of the oxygen is in the container is 625. So what is the temperature of the gas? Okay, so we can use VRMS equal to 3RT over molar mass to find the temperature. So since we have VRMS 625, okay, we say substitute into the equations, equals to square root 3, R is 8.31, temperature is the value we want to find, and the molar mass is 32. So remember, you must change it into kg, okay? So you must times 10 to the power of negative 3, okay? And the temperature that we will get is equal to 501.404 Kelvin, okay? Okay, last question, question number 4, the speed of the air molecule Okay, what is the VRMS of the air molecule at the room temperature 20 degrees Celsius? So this one later we need to convert into Kelvin. Okay, given that the molar mass of the oxygen is 32 gram and the nitrogen is 80, 28 gram per mole. Okay, so we must find VRMS. The first one, we find oxygen first. Okay, five oxygen. Where equation we can use 3RT over M. Okay, because we are given uh, the temperature and also the molar mass. So we substitute R is 8.31. Uh, the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, so we must convert into Kelvin. So it's 20 plus 273.15 over molar mass of the oxygen 32. So remember to convert into kg. Okay, so the answer we will get is equal to 477.89 meter per second. Okay, next we go to uh, find VRMS for uh, nitrogen. Okay, so similar, we will use 3RT over molar mass. So we substitute 3R is 8.31, temperature is 20 plus 273.15 over molar mass for nitrogen is 28 grams. So we convert into kg. Okay, so our final answer that we will get for nitrogen is 510.89 meter per second. Okay, so that's all for this video. Okay, we will continue with the next subtopic. See you on next video. Bye.